guys, this is Gypsy, and today I'm going to share with you, my lovely viewers, a walk-in closet wardrobe thingy that I made from my fashion dolls. Previously, I had their clothing all smushed together inside of shoe boxes, but that proved totally useless, so I needed a solution. I wanted my wardrobe to be large enough to have my dolls inside of, and I needed enough compartments and rod space so that I could hang up all their clothing and put stuff away neatly. I also wanted it to be very lightweight so that I could move it around from place to place as needed. I wanted this closet to double as a film set. I'll show you a few easy crafts along the way so you can get some ideas for things you might need to make for your doll's wardrobe. Our lovely Broken Barbie girls, Zen and Dorothea on their Made to Move bodies will be joining us to guide us through this tour and this way you guys can get an idea of the scale of the set compared to the dolls. So I'm going to tell you what I used to make the set and the features. I basically used toothpicks and beads to make these hooks here where I hang stuff. There are some shelves here made from cardboard. There's a thumbtack here doubling as a hook that's pushed and glued into this wooden dowel rod. I have a shelf at the bottom here and a shelf at the top over my rod. The middle section has a few shelves and I will show you how I made a drawer for that. This rug is just felt glued down. And there are more hooks glued to the walls. Oh, and there's another rod here for hanging clothing. There's a large shelf down here that is like a bench, but it's really for storage. I also have a mirror glued to the wall. I made it out of metallic scrapbook paper and printed tape. I embellished it a little bit with some ribbons. So I like to use paper clips to make hooks for my doll's shoes that can hang from them. I will show you what I do. I just bend the paper clips like this. I open it up and then I push one part down so there's like a little loop. I don't want that pointy edge sticking out here. I string the shoes through until they are hanging and then I close the looped part so that it stays in place. Then I bend the top part until I have a bigger loop. I don't make any particular shapes, I just make it able to hang and then I put it on the hook here on my wall. Keep in mind, when you want to remove your shoes, you have to open the paper clip first. So I just stack a whole bunch of these on my walls, and you can do this too. You can hang whatever you want on them, of course, not just shoes, but I use these for my strappy shoes because they can go on it really easily. Here's another little craft that I do. I make little doll shoe boxes. I'm going to show you what I do. It's really simple. I cut a random rectangle out of some fancy paper. You can use any kind of paper you want, but I recommend cardstock, poster paper, or some type of craft paper that's a little bit thicker than just regular printer paper. If all you have is printer paper, you can use that too, but I think you should use some paper cardboard to reinforce it. Use a recycled cereal box or something and just cover it with fancy paper later. I make a grid inside my rectangle. I don't really measure too much, just try to eyeball it so that it fits my shoes. The part I shaded in here is where the shoes are going to rest. So in the middle here, I have a thin piece of cardboard that I cut out and then I'll glue it down inside that middle so that I can have some reinforcement. I don't need mine to be all fancy, so I'm just going to use this, but you can decorate yours and use fancier cardstock. Yay! Now. Let's cut out the rectangle. After that, you cut the slits on the sides. They are the tabs. I'm making my side tabs a little bit bigger so that they can be folded over and I'll cut the tabs on each side. Be careful not to cut them off totally. Now I fold along the lines and glue the tab into place until I have the shape of a box. After I glue the tabs, I fold over the edge that is sticking out to get some extra support. For this demo, I'm using paste, but I normally would just hot glue this because I only need a little bit of glue and it dries really fast. 
You guys know I'm lazy and I do not like to take 10 years working on one little project, okay? So here's my rush job. I don't really care as long as the end result looks good. This is cardstock here and it's very sturdy so that's a better kind of paper to use but whatever. You can make a shorter box with wider and longer dimensions to make a top for your box if you want to. Sometimes I put little labels on the side to make it look more realistic. I'll show you some of that too. So now I can fill up my shoe boxes and I can store them in my closet. And I'll show you some more of the wardrobe now. Here in the middle is where I like to keep a lot of small things like purses and accessories. I'm going to make a drawer for the middle compartment because I think I need one. Let me show you what I do. It's basically the same concept as the shoe box except that I have to make it a little bit bigger. So I get a general idea of how long and wide the space inside my shelf is. I want my drawer to be a tiny bit smaller and shorter so I can slide in and out easily. The box on the inside was lined with foam and I put a little fake shoe on it as a handle. It used to be like, it used to be an earring but I cut off the hook and turned it into a handle. I'll slide it into the shelf and put whatever I want in there. I can move it around from shelf to shelf, but it fits the best in the middle. My shelves are not all the same sizes, so I would have to make my drawers different sizes if I decided to put more into my wardrobe, but I don't really feel like making any others, so that's just what I'm going to use for now. Alright, so here are some little hooks I got from Walmart. If you're even more lazy than I am, you can buy these little things from the dollar store or wherever and glue them onto the walls. I got this little tote for a dollar at Michael's and I actually saw these at Walmart too for like 97 cents. These are perfect sizes for Barbie dolls. I put props and necklaces in here and you can probably keep shoes or toddler clothing in them too. They're like big totes for the dolls and I just keep them down here on the floor. And they just stack on top of each other. So these are great ideas for storage. Of course you can just make a box with a lid and handles out of cardboard too with the same concept as the drawer or the shoe boxes. Here is a container I like to use for storage as well. They're meant for condiments like ketchup and mayonnaise and stuff like that. And you can find these plastic cups in the kitchenware aisle at Walmart where all of the plastic and um, like taper uh, kitchen stuff is. Just use these for little knickknacks. I also have some hangers here that I made from pipe cleaners. I make the edges in different shapes for various types of clothing, spaghetti straps, coats, general use. I wanted to show you guys the different shapes I like to use, but I'm not going to show you how I made these in this video because I just don't have the time for it right now. Sorry, but if you really want to know, then I'll make you a separate video for that. It's pipe cleaner. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just twist it into the shape you want and you're good to go. Now let's fill up the wardrobe with stuff. Okay, so while we are watching this part, I wanted to tell you guys how I created the actual structure itself. So I started with a sketch where I drew a floor plan of what I wanted to build. After I figured out my design, I used some foam board that I got from my local dollar store. I measured the board to the size I wanted. Yeah, it doesn't have to be any particular size. If it's too thin, just double them up. And if it's not too thin, then just use whatever size you have. I measured the board to the size that I wanted and then I decorated the walls. I kind of had an idea where I wanted the hanging rods to go. So I put the floral print wallpaper there. All the fancy papers are just scrap of paper and fancy printed duct tapes. Then I hot glued the walls together and I started to attach the inner walls that also serve as the sides of the shelves. They were all made from the same foam boards. I put a ledge at the top of the closet so that I could place my dolls there on display if I chose to. The great thing about this structure is that it's very sturdy, but it's really light. I can move it around very easily with one hand even when it's all filled up. So I use it as a display area too. Okay, let's keep filling up the wardrobe with all of my dolls things. They have so much stuff. I don't know if I'm going to end up putting everything in here. You know what? I only keep my female doll clothing in this wardrobe because my male stuff doesn't even fit in here. I put my dresses on the left side and my tops on the right side. I have another structure that I use for the boys clothing, but that one isn't as functional or fancy looking as this one. So I don't know if I'm going to show that one to you guys later, but whatever.
Okay, so we're almost done filling up the wardrobe, and this is the wardrobe all full of doll stuff. Now I'm going to show you guys how my dolls fit into the space. We've got Dorothea and Zen chilling down on the floor. My made to move hybrid dolls are hanging out in here. There's enough space for all of these girls to fit. At the time that I made this film, I didn't have any yellow tops yet. So that's why you don't see my brown skin MTM dolls here. Don't worry, I didn't intentionally exclude them from this tour. <laughs> well, that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and got some inspiration for a wardrobe you might be able to slap together for your miniature people. I really hope you try this craft because it's very easy and really functional. My biggest tip would be to try to make a little sketch of your floor plan before you start because that really helps me to plan out what I was going to do instead of just trying to like do it all off the top of my head. And it saved me a lot of time. It doesn't have to be really fancy looking but just you know just make a bunch of squares and rectangles and label it so you know what each part is supposed to be on your floor plan and my other tip is to use your tallest doll as a guide for how high you want your walls to be because if you don't use an actual doll to figure out where you want your rod to go and how you want the shelves to be spaced and how you want the back walls to look then it might not be in the correct scale when you're done and then you'll have completely wasted your time. So try to follow those tips when you guys are working on yours and follow us on Instagram so we can see your finished product and be sure to tag us in your post. Hit us up in the comments so we can discuss our adoration for fashion figures. We don't care if you're a girl, a boy, a kid, an adult, straight, gay, Buy blue, white, orange, whatever. If you love you some dollies, then we love you too. So don't be a stranger, Ranger. Okay, I'm a cornball. The secret is out. <laughs> As always, this is Gypsy from Broken Barbie TV, and I need all of you to have a dolly day. <laughs>